Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jenkins Google Summer of Code uh, meet, uh, meeting. Yeah, probably too many acronyms in the row, but yeah, we have recently created a special interest group for JSOC. This is the first official meeting of this group. So as usual in special uh, interest uh, groups in Jenkins, we have a page describing all communication channels. Um, JSO six JSOC. Uh, so if you want to know anything about this group, just uh, uh, go to this page. Uh, generally, it's about Google Summer of Code and other related activities like uh, Google Coding. Um, so yeah, even if uh, JSOC has finished uh, during this year, we will keep regular meetings so that we synchronize before the next year and address other tasks. And there is a mailing list and chat in Gitter. So chat in Gitter is where you can ask um, any questions you have. And we usually post uh, uh, links, etc. here. And for example, here's a participant link to this meeting if you want to attend. So today we have uh, three main topics. Uh, we'll have update from Tracy about uh, Jenkins participation in outreach. Then uh, Jeff, Martin, and me will uh, summarize uh, the JSOC Mentor Summit, which we had uh, this weekend. And then we will talk about uh, JSOC 2019 plans. So these are three main topics. And yeah, I think we can uh, just start from the first item, outreach. Hello, hi. Yeah, just a second. Uh, I'll change focus. So yeah, you can present if you want. Great, I will do. Uh, hi, everybody. Yes, I'm really happy to announce um, Jenkins uh, as an organization has been accepted to the upcoming outreachy um, winter internships. And so just for those who might not be familiar with Outreachy, it's a very similar program to GSOC um, with a couple of key differences. Uh, one, it's designed to specifically target folks from marginalized groups in tech. So um, uh, yes, yeah, so it's opening it up to, with the idea of trying to make open source much more inclusive and secondly, um, the projects uh, do have to provide sponsorship themselves. So it's not tied to one organization like Google. Um, so everybody sort of has to, to, to do their bit for funding. Um, so in that spirit, um, I'm really pleased to say that the Jenkins uh, governing board has approved uh, funding for one internship. And we may be lucky as well to take advantage of surplus funds for a second one. So you can see the dates um, up there in terms of um, when things happen uh, in terms right now we're just getting the projects launched and it will be a three month internship from December 4th to March 4th. So we've got two projects we've submitted before the deadline. Um, so one of them with Matt Sicker. So thanks to Matt who's agreed to be the primary mentor on this is all about adding audit logging to Jenkins. Um, so we've got details of that project there, and we specifically ask for different experience levels in the skills we're looking for. Oops. OK. Go see why that link's not working. But um, And the other project, um, because Outreachy can work on any contribution, not just code, um, the other project we've put in is improving Jenkins' uh, website and documentation, and this will be focused a lot on pipeline and trying to provide people more information about pipeline. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, uh, we expect to be in the application phase of um, Outreachy, which means people who are interested in applying for the projects will be doing pull requests, asking questions, and We'll be fielding people to the Gitter channel um, we set up. Uh, so we're really trying to model off um, the great work already done on GSOC. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, that's it. We hope to get some people to apply and be able to find some interns we can mm -hmm. work with. Yeah, just in case, uh, do we still accept uh, other project ideas if somebody wants to join? Uh, 
Um, the official deadline has passed. What is it? Um, so I don't know how strict they are on it. So possibly, but officially, um, the date for getting them in. So we had wanted to put in a couple of others, but we were struggling to scope them. So we've we've just sort of said, let's learn this time. Have two in. Hopefully, we can get at least one intern, um, and then we'll improve for uh, future. Mm -hmm. That's great. So thanks for driving this effort, Tracy. Yeah, and uh, again, we'll be uh, we're learning a lot from what everybody's been doing on GSOC. So we'll definitely be trying to tap into the experience here. Mm -hmm. If somebody has any questions, uh, are there any communication channels we can use for Tracy? I have a couple just uh, questions, Tracy. Yes. Um, I'd like to know, is this um, expected to be full time for the participants like JSOC? Yes. Yeah, they have to. I think one of the eligibility requirements as well is they have to have seven weeks uh, consecutive where they can work on the projects and this so this fixed number of hours. Um, it's not limited to students, so anybody can. And I know people who have done outreachy when they've been transitioning, let's say from architecture or something else, trying to get into tech. Um, so I think it works really well for that, but it's definitely full-time paid um, with commitments and three evaluations along the way. And what is the time commitment for the uh, for participants? Um, so I know the seven-week jumps to mind. Um, am I still sharing? Mm, okay. No, so you, you are supposed to be 40 hours a week um, full-time. And okay. yeah, so it's full full-time internship. OK. Do you, do you have a Gitter chat for outreachy under Jenkins? Like a special interest group Gitter chat? Yes. Uh, we haven't set it up as a SIG, but there is the outreachy Gitter, which um, I will find yeah. a link to. I it it, uh, the link to the chat. Oh, I stopped screen sharing. Oh, yeah. If you could share that. I yeah, just a um, And also, we'll stick something in the minutes for this meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put it there. So yeah, there is outreach channel is Jenkins CI slash outreach. So if you have any questions, you can uh, just uh, join uh, the discussion here and ask questions. Um, and yeah, just to add, we really welcome anyone who can help um, mm -hmm. answer questions. And there's a particular focus on just modeling uh, for folks suffering from imposter syndrome. So modeling, figuring out answers, and admitting when we don't know things and mm -hmm. things like that. So I think, um, yeah, it's, it's, it should be quite nice to do. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, going forward, are we fine with two separate channels? Because yeah, JSOC and Outreach are quite related. So yeah, maybe a separate channel is still preferable taking the timelines, uh, but yeah. Yeah. I I'm denied about it. I thought this might make it feel slightly more focused or welcoming, but happy to mm -hmm. consider merging or making it a more general kind of channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe what uh, we could do, so we could actually, uh, regarding channels, it may be not a problem. It definitely makes sense to get an uh, outreach mentioned somewhere on the website. Oh, good idea. Yes, so it could be the sub project like uh, Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, or we could somehow think about merging these activities because here yeah, we have a Google Summer of Code, we have coding, you know, we have outreach. Having them all under one sort of umbrella would be nice. Yeah, at least uh, on uh, website wise. Because, yeah. yeah, for the most of participants, it doesn't uh, so it doesn't matter which program they take because all programs have different rules and eligibility requirements but it's still a kind of uh, programs uh, for students and 
definitely sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, maybe we need to think about it. Mm, yeah, I'll add action items here just to come up with the proposal how to do that. Something like that. Does it look good? Tracy? Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I was I just did it an action item for that. Okay, yeah, no, that would be great. I'm just trying to find mm -hmm. where in the document is that? So it's linked from the JSOC side meeting. Ah. Is it the Mentor Summit notes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, just to have to add some context about uh, outreach. So um, last weekend we were participating um, in JSOC Mentor Summit, and there was uh, a session about outreach, and it was especially dedicated to uh, JSOC mentors asking questions about outreach. So if you go here, you can uh, find questions about the differences between the funding, other things like CUNY. So it may, uh, may provide some additional uh, examples of, uh, yeah, uh, and information about the program. So yeah, the link is also here in the uh, meeting notes. Mm. Any other questions about that for you, Chair? Yeah, no more questions from me as well. So, thanks a lot, Tracy, for sharing the information. Yeah. Really. Thank you. If you need help with this. Uh, uh, from JSOC, seek, let us know. And yeah, probably some of mentors will be, uh, may be interested to join uh, the current projects. So if somebody is interested, please reach out to Tracy. And I believe that having more mentors never hurts there. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's move on then. So the next topic is about uh, Google Summer of Code Mentor Summit. So, yeah, we spent two pretty productive days um, um, in Mountain View uh, talking uh, to JSOC mentors. Uh, there were something like uh, 250 mentors uh, this year. So from the Jenkins project, uh, uh, Martin, Jeff, and me were delegated. So usually it just happens at the late stages of JSOC, depending, uh, we discuss with mentors who is interested to go, and then we delegate someone. So this time we had three delegates because uh, Martin also won a lot lottery. So that, uh, yeah. And yeah, I believe uh, it was pretty productive. So maybe you, Martin, or Jeff, uh, would you like to start and summarize your experience? So yeah, I, I could I could chat a little bit. Um, I, I don't have the notes in front of me, but um, I could give some kind of general impressions. Um, so so at the, the beginning, we did kind of lightning lightning talks where everybody talked about their projects, and um, th that was really interesting to me because I was just amazed at the the um, the diversity of, of projects. Um, you, you know, I'd, I'd been so focused on just Jenkins, and there's all sorts of stuff. There's games. There's you know stuff in the sciences. Um, 
all of the open source stuff that you know about, like Python. Um, so, so that was really cool. Uh, I found that pretty interesting. Um, and then there, there was the the topics I found most interesting were kind of like the general, um, the general topics. So there, there was topics like about um, how how to run your org, um, how many mentors should you have. So the, the advice there was that it's good to have um, at least one backup mentor, and um, it, if you have the luxury, maybe even more, because uh, mentors can get burned out, they can disappear, they can go on vacation. Um, some organizations have like different types of mentors. So they may have mentors that work directly with the students and they have other mentors, mentors that are kind of floaters to, to fill in or um, uh, mentors that just handle scheduling. Um, so that, that was pretty interesting. Um, there, there was a, a talk about um, how sometimes when a student's failing, it might actually be the mentor's fault. And so it, it, the org admins should maybe take a look at the situation and see if maybe there's a difference in communication styles or or some other thing, or if maybe the, the mentee's not not getting a, enough hands on or, or something. So that, that was sort of sort of an interesting thing. And then so kind of the final thing, since I'm the only one that joined the session, there was a very, very small session talking about trying to get um, some of these coding coding camp boot camps coding schools um, hooked up into open source I, I, I found that interesting because my company personally works with a couple of the, these um, coding camps to to um, that specialize in um, helping women find careers in tech and it's a way of of letting us um, and increase the number of women that work for the company. And we get really, really good candidates. So I thought that would be interesting. Um, I, I don't know if it's something that would be interesting for, for Jenkins. They, they don't have any sort of program. It's just some sort of people wondering how they could get involved. And, and so they talked about maybe trying to do some hackathons or something. Um, I, I don't know. I'll just kind of throw it out there as food for thought. And that's about it for me. Yeah, sorry, my bet I messed up notes. I started uh, making them a, another document. Uh, so Jeff, if you could uh, please uh, put a, a brief summary uh, to the document, it would be really nice. Yep, you bet. Mm, thank you. Uh, Martin, and what about you? Um, this was my second JSOC Mentor Summit. And uh, to me, that is the, it's it's the best conference I've ever attended. And when I went there in 2016, that's how I felt. I, again, I repeated the experience. It's an, um, for those who don't know what the, how it's organized, it's a, it's the reverse of a conference. So instead of going there listening to prepared talks, prepared talks by prepared presenters. The attendees propose talks. There's a bunch of time slots available. Um, in fact, everything's open. The attendees propose topics of discussion and then we just break out into the different rooms where uh, we meet people who want to talk about the same topics as uh, as we want and uh, the topics I enjoyed the most were um, the ones about how to, uh, pretty much the same as Jeff the ones about how to um, how to work with students how to recruit mentors how to keep mentors interested in um, throughout the program and how to work with students Mm, uh, the um, especially with recruiting mentors and retaining mentors, we have found um, that other organizations have also taken the approach of uh, special interest groups in their organizations, like Jenkins recently has. So it kind of confirms the approach that the Jenkins org has been taking. Um, about so uh, taken. Sorry? About taken. 
so it's rather for the next year. Um, oh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So, for example, KDE and Python also work with what they call sub projects, but to us, they are special interest groups. And um, the way they recruit mentors is they go to each of their sub project and they 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 talk about JSOC and they talk about the benefits that each sub like that this given sub project um, um, uh, could uh, the benefits that they could uh, have by joining JSOC and then they ask each sub project to supply at least two mentors per um, per project proposal and that's how they they manage to um, have let's say uh, manage to hire more mentors into the program and grow their program. So they delegate a bit of that to their uh, some projects. Um, so that was the I guess the big um, takeaway for me is was what I just described. Um, there is also something that. Um, I've learned is um, some organizations participate in both programs uh, in the Google Code In as well as in uh, JSOC. So what they do there is they get their JSOC students, they strongly encourage them to become mentors for the Google Code In participants who are younger in age. And um, to retain students after they finish the JSOC project, um, what organizations have, have what have learned and shared with us is that uh, the idea is uh, you have to keep these students um, sort of interested by giving them responsibilities um, with regards to. Uh, to code or other responsibilities in the open source organization. So they could uh, be um, pull request reviewers. They could be, for example, JEP reviewers. In the case of Jenkins, they could join a special interest group. Um, but the thing is, um, we have to keep them in the loop and not just let it go. Um, some students will stay. Some students will uh, move on to other to other things. But um, yes, that's what I've learned: the link between GCI and JSOC, and keeping students interested. Uh, ways to keep students interested after JSOC. So it's an awesome conference. I want to emphasize that it's an awesome conference. <laughs> With lots of chocolate. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, insane amount of chocolate. I don't think we ate all the chocolate. We did. Year. We oh, did we? Did we? Yeah, we did. Excellent work. Yeah, so there was something like four tables of chocolate uh, brought by mentors from all over the world. I had the chocolate crash, like you have a coffee crash on the second afternoon. Because I, you know, you can only eat so much, but then uh, <laughs> it, it was great. Okay. So uh, that will summarize my experience. Actually, I second what Martin said. For me, it was also one of the best community events I've ever participated. And yeah, it's really well organized. Uh, it's full of uh, open source contributors. And one of the main difference is that it's full of open source contributors, which are community minded, because it's Google Summer of Code. So we yeah, are from the organizational perspective, it's really nice. From communication perspective and on conference topics, it's also really nice. Um, during this uh, mentor summit, I was also focusing, uh, in addition to mentor student communication topics, uh, I focused on some tooling. So I participated uh, uh, in meetings about uh, JSOC tooling, about some 
tooling for event management um, and some others. I also participated in outreach talk just to uh, get information more about the program. Yeah, thanks. Teresa. So yeah, uh, generally it's a really, really nice opportunity to study many uh, topics and actually we also got some potential uh, cross-project collaboration options because yeah, everybody uses Jenkins and pretty much the same. Almost everybody at GSOC Mentor Summit also uses Jenkins. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, communications happening in background. Um, oh, I am still presenting, uh, Martin. So yeah, regarding my takeaways, so one of uh, takeaways I have in addition to what Martin and Jeff said is that uh, we really need uh, uh, to participate more in uh, community activities and promote uh, uh, JSOC. So yeah, of course, it's special interest groups, but it's also uh, communications of at various events, including local events. So for example, there are JSOC meetups in cities like London, uh, where it's really reasonable to participate. The same for other events we do. Uh, it's nice and pretty effective to promote JSOC there. Then um, uh, one of the interesting things for community members is that most likely there will be a uh, Google season of uh, documentation next year. It's still work in progress, but if it happens, we really should um, try to attend. And since uh, there uh, were a lot of uh, discussions about documentation recently and also pipeline authoring uh, special interest group, which has been discussed in the developer mailing list now, um, I believe it's a topic uh, for us to consider. I guess uh, that's it with the summary. So just in case somebody is interested, uh, we have um, a lot of meeting notes. So you can find uh, the link uh, here. So docs, whatever. So this is a document which uh, contains a dump of all meeting notes we've created during uh, the sessions. And actually some uh, uh, links are nested. So for example, open hardware is uh, stored in another document. Uh, because yeah, we detached uh, this session, um, and yeah, if you're interested, just go through these documents, and you may find uh, much more information. Okay, I guess uh, that's it for JSOC Mentor Summit, and one uh, update uh, which I was about uh, doing in the beginning that uh, we also have a JSOC 2018 summary blog post. Finally, so it just took me almost one month to f finalize it, but yeah, now it's here. So yeah, if everybody is in, if anybody is interested, you can just take a look. And uh, as Jeff said, they were lightning talks. So we have two lightning talks, uh, um, which have been created for uh, the GSOC Mentor Summit. So we will try to get them posted somehow. Maybe with videos, it's something like TBD. OK, that's it. Any questions? Especially from ones who didn't participate in the Mentor Summit. Would one has posted a question in the chat? Where, where's, your, where's your meeting note that you are opening? I cannot find it. You cannot open it? What? Yeah. Where's the link? Uh, no, no, the, uh, the meeting note that you are writing, not this link. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's here. So you can I don't have, no, no, I mean the meeting note. This one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, they are also pasted in the chat here. But just a uh, submit note. If you click into the link. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was sure I posted it somewhere, but uh, I believe I paste uh, uh, a wrong clean. Okay, sorry about that. And actually, uh, one of the hints uh, which uh, Martin did mention uh, if you're a Google coding mentor, 
you're also eligible to participate in the GSOC Mentor Summit. So uh, Google Coding Organization so also sent uh, mentors there. So for JSOC students, it's one of opportunities to go to the Mentor Summit. For example, this year there was a GCI mentor who was also a JSOC student this year. So she effectively presented her own project, which is quite unusual for um, a JSOC, but yeah, it's one of opportunities. Okay, any other questions? Uh, Maybe we can mention that we have a, a pre-mentor uh, pre summit meeting where we discuss the plans for um, how we're going to do JSOC 20, 2019. Yes, okay, I've mentioned it. Yeah, I was about uh, mentioning it uh, in the next part, which is JSOC 2019 plan. But yeah, we can go straight to that. Would you so for some of 19 plans? Okay, uh, so we don't have so much documents to share about uh, um, uh, the mentor summit uh, and about uh, uh, pre GSOC meeting. Uh, but uh, yeah, we can just summarize it now. So, as Martin said, before GSOC, we met together. So it was Jeff, Martin, me, and also Lloyd, who is on the call. So we were discussing uh, what we will do for G uh, GSOC 2019 and how we approach that. Um, and yeah, generally, uh, the summary of this approach is that we start early in terms of uh, looking for project ideas, in terms of preparing infrastructure for GSOC 2019. And uh, we have already started doing some bits. Um, yeah. So what have we done already? Just a second, uh, there is a doc somewhere. Yeah, I believe it's here. Yeah, this pre-G SOC meeting. Uh, so effectively, uh, what we discussed is uh, redesigning of um, application uh, and project idea approach uh, because uh, currently we have one page on Jenkins IO with project ideas. It's pretty hard to manage and pretty hard uh, to discuss it for students. So we want to rework it a bit. So each uh, project has still, uh, it's still represented on the JSOC website. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, there is a Google Doc where uh, students uh, can discuss project ideas, get feedback, uh, so that uh, we use it uh, and chat um, to build up proposals. So for example, this is what we had uh, in 2018. Instead of that, we will have a table or whatever this list of projects, short abstracts and links to the detailed descriptions in Google Doc. So does it make sense for everybody? It would be especially uh, interesting to get feedback from Wuton, who is on the call, because he was a student uh, this year. OK, so mm -hmm. you want me to provide feedback for this year, or, um, or what yeah, you should do yeah. for? Mm -hmm. So, so if you want to do for the next year. Uh, yeah, yeah. So since you're on the user side of this page, um, it would be nice to get your feedback of what oh, you okay from this page, right? Yeah. I think it's I think it's it's okay for me. It works for me. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I just scroll to the page and yeah, see the project that I interest in. Go to the go to the how is it the mailing list to ask question. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I think it's yeah, but yeah, it should be okay. I mean, I don't have any I mean impression or any negative feedback about this. Mm -hmm. Maybe. 
maybe we can maybe one more improvement if we can classify it i mean we can group the projects into different topics uh -huh. for now we are putting is like list by list right so maybe yeah so yeah. actually it was one of the feedbacks from gsoc mentor summit so there was uh, a meeting about uh, the second feedback about gsoc i believe it's actually somewhere here or maybe not so what they were requesting is um, to have labeling happening uh, on the project basis so currently uh, there are um, labels in gsoc but they apply to the entire organization and uh, students have a hard time looking for relevant uh, project ideas so what was uh, a feedback about uh, um, yeah i believe that's it uh, gsoc feedback so what was the feedback is that instead of that uh, when uh, uh, students look for organizations they effectively can look for projects using labels and yeah of course we could do something like that on our website as well um, yeah actually you have the skill the skill section which is something similar to label mm -hmm. yeah if i understand mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so it's something we could do. Mm -hmm. So other items we had during the discussions that, um, yeah, we really start uh, things earlier. And yeah, there will be an epic in Jira with list of tasks we need to do before December. There is already an epic for that, but there is still no, no tasks there. My apologies for that. Um, and yeah, uh, in addition to that, uh, Jeff and Lloyd will join uh, GSOC org admins. So we will include them uh, into the loops and yeah, we'll have more bandwidth on the SOC administration side in order to get projects involved, as we discussed, uh, to reach out uh, to special interest groups, etc. So yeah, mm, Jeff and Lloyd, welcome uh, aboard. And yeah, thanks a lot for your help with that. Um, there is still some organizational topics like JSOC budget. We have a JEP proposed by that, but it's still not uh, uh, approved. So GitHub, Jenkins, CI, JEP. There is JEP, which is, yeah, uh, JEP 8. So we still need uh, to get uh, this uh, JEP uh, uh, approved. Okay. So yeah, generally it's uh, what uh, we have discussed uh, at the pre-mentor summit. Um, we didn't cover so many topics and uh, I believe we still need to continue discussion. So now it's uh, mid-October and uh, what we really uh, need to start doing is uh, to start collecting uh, project ideas so if everybody has any project idea uh, let us know we will try to accommodate them and uh, we will soon create um, a list of uh, 2019 project ideas and i'll put uh, all ideas you propose there and then we will start expanding them so my plan is to create a GSOC 2019 structure maybe today. So what we will have, we will have a GSOC 2019 project ideas page, and also we will have a placeholder for GSOC 2019 applications. So as you may notice, there was already an update in the Google Summer of Code page. So we moved uh, all 2018 uh, into uh, the archive. 
and yeah, now this page is pretty clean and we will be creating a, a separate page for GSOC 2019, similar to what we have uh, for uh, 2018 here. And yeah, if you want to propose any changes or proposed uh, uh, projects, just let us know, we'll put everything here. Okay. Any feedback of what else should we do in short term? Um, Oleg, I just uh, want to check on a couple things. So uh, we talked about moving the project proposals to uh, separate Google Doc documents, which means we probably need uh, one Google Doc document that links to all those sub documents and we would have a template to help people prepare uh, their project ideas yes i think i think we I still want to go ahead not. with that mm -hmm. yeah we really need a, a project idea template okay mm, yeah i forgot to mention that so yeah we uh, decided that we will have a Oh, sorry, that we will have uh, a project ideas template. So what it will include, it will include um, um, a structure, something like uh, what we already have on Jenkins IO website. Um, and we will also at um, newbie friendly task examples right uh, to the project ideas. So it means so that um, everybody interested in the project will know from which small tasks to start if he wants uh, to apply. And it will be some additional information for potential participants. So yeah, it will be much more than just this um, small description and they uh, will create this template. By the way, who would be interested uh, uh, to create it? I can create it. I also wanted to create, um, start populating the list of JIRAs in the Epic, uh, mm -hmm. going over the, all the feedback we have received, plus the JSOC. Um, uh, nodes that we have taken and just create JIRAs. It does not mean we do all of them, but it, it's at least, it gives us a list of things that we, we can do and we can do the ones that we have the time to do and the ones that are high impact. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted to do that. Okay, uh, so to create the uh, just a second, I'll uh, find uh, an issue right now. Okay. Okay, it's here. Jenkins 54 or 59. So it's really empty now. Uh, unfortunately, in Jira, when you're not locked in, uh, epics are always empty. But this one uh, is really empty now. And yeah, I believe we could start putting uh, information there. And yeah. yeah. I also have at least one action item on my side uh, to create a uh, um, JSOC org admin uh, checklist. So currently we have only mentor and student guidelines on Jenkins IO website. In addition to that, we need an org admin page so that uh, uh, we summarize how we approach JSOC, how we used to approach JSOC during the last years. So it's also something I uh, will create. Okay. 
Okay, are we missing any action items? Question regarding the JIRA. Oh, sure. Do we have a component name for JSOC in JIRA? Uh, no, we don't, because actually there is a project for that. So it's not Jenkins. There are other projects, and one of the projects is um, events. Um, so what we could do, we could um, get permissions for all JSOC participants uh, or admins to manage the events page. Uh, but now, for example, I have no permission to create uh, a whatever sprint um, or dashboard which includes issues from Jenkins events. So that's why I don't use it. And okay. So I believe that events would be the best uh, thing to put uh, this information, at least an epic. Um, I'm still not sure that it's really what we need, but uh, yeah, TBD. So creating the issues in the epic, should I use the Jenkins project or the, uh, or the events project? I will start from creating uh, Jenkins and the website. So, um, actually, Jenkins, Infra, and the website. So, there are three projects which we can easily manage now. And uh, I would propose to start from these three projects. And yeah, if something is needed, uh, probably we need to request permissions for uh, events. Okay, something like that. Does it work for okay. you, Martin? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else do we have? Work admin checklist, 2019 tasks, JSOC, skeleton is something I can create. This one I will discuss with Tracy. And do we need a summary blog post for the Mentor Summit? Sorry, say that again. Do we need summary blog post? Summary blog post for the Mentor Summit. Oh, my oh yeah, we should. Maybe just everybody of us uh, writes a blog post on his own. Uh, maybe not on Jenkins IO, but maybe, for example, on some personal resources. And then uh, we just post three these blog posts. Which, approach? Which approach would you prefer? Um, if, if, we po if we post it on our own sites, um, mm -hmm. then the Assuming we all have them, then it's three times as many, um, mm -hmm. three, three, three times as many posts. Yeah. So separate blog posts then. So uh, I, I'm not very me uh, social media savvy. Um, is this something? That's easily doable on like Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, or should I really use my super old WordPress blog? Oh, well, LinkedIn is fine. If you want, you can post on Jenkins IO. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, once we have them, uh, we can get them reposted on Jenkins IO or just retweeted. So as we wish. Okay, and maybe Vuitton, how is your blog post going? 
Yeah, I'm writing it on my personal website. But <laughs> still take time because currently I'm also very quite busy. Mm. I write like half of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's still in draft mode. I are you are we having the Jenkins War next week? Uh next, next week? Yes, we do. I so think I, I will try to do it by this week. Yeah, if it happens uh, by Jenkins Vault, uh, we'll get it uh, um, the reference in uh, the update. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I have one more suggestion for mm-hmm. our summer code for next year. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's a good, I mean, we have time to do it or not. Maybe yeah. we can like spend like one or two weeks. We create a training program for students in the first one or two weeks. Whether it's a whether it's a community bonding or whether it's a coding yeah. period. So that the student can get like they don't have I mean we create a training program like what should we expect from the student in this period? I'm not sure whether it's doable. Uh-huh. I think we need manpower, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> But if we have something like that, mm-hmm. it might be good, like provide like some Java training or some. Yeah, so there are two approaches to do that. One is to do it uh, during community bonding for accepted students. Another approach is to do it uh, in early application period or before application period for everybody who is interested. My purpose is we create this training and we ask the student to commit to it so that they can produce some small result during this. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure whether it, so that we can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, this too much. Well, it's yeah. definitely something we need to discuss because here yeah, there are your organizations and the mentor summit saying that yeah, it's really something uh, everybody should be doing. Yeah, resource-wise, let's see whether we can uh, manage to do that. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, I've noted uh, this feedback in the uh, document. And yeah, I think we need to talk about that more at the next meeting. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I guess that's it. A quick question, Oleg. Any question? Sorry? This is Martin. I have a quick question. Oh, okay. Just do it. So I tried to create uh, create some issues in the JSOC 2019 prep work epic, but, oh, I can use the other component. Okay, because it's yeah. asking me for a component and. Yeah, yeah. let's uh, start from that and then we can move uh, the stuff to events. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll create an infra ticket to get all of us permissions. Uh, yeah. I will try to do it today, at least yeah, this week. Okay. Mm-hmm. No rush. Okay. So, Lloyd, any comment? Okay, maybe not. Okay, then we can sync up later. So, I believe uh, we have uh, some plan for um, the next few weeks. So we need to decide when we meet next time. Would be two weeks period fine. So assuming that we get uh, all the structural things like uh, project ideas, template, uh, uh, Jira, etc. by that. Uh, does it make sense or should we take three or four weeks. I think I, I'm okay to meet in two weeks. Um, 
I'm going to have some of it done. That's for sure. Yeah, so let's uh, just try to do a short sync up meeting. Um, and then, uh, if needed, we will uh, do a longer meeting later. So I'll uh, set in Google. Works for me. Yeah. Okay, some. And that's it. So if there is no other questions, uh, thanks everybody uh, for participating or for watching uh, this uh, meeting. Um, yeah, as always, this meeting will be posted on YouTube, so you can uh, rewatch that. And we have meeting notes posted. So I will just process it and uh, put on Jenkins IO website like we do in other special interest groups so that we don't lose this information. And yeah, see you in two weeks, I guess. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Mm -hmm.